117 Church. I'm here on a missions trip uh, with 100% Hope. I've been here for uh, one month. Um, I just wanted to introduce you to Trishel Grady, the founder of 100% Hope and her beautiful adopted daughter, also called Hope, and uh, tell you a bit more about the amazing work 100% Hope is doing and the future of 100% Hope. Thank you, Kate. Well, Church, first I want to say thank you so much for letting Kate come and be with us for the last month. She has been such a blessing. She's been staying in our girls' home with 52 children and um, has been doing a great job with them, using her teaching skills to tutor the kids, um, reading with them, doing all sorts of things, helping us with administration as well during the day. So we so appreciate um, the involvement she's played. She's been preaching and doing all of those things as well. Um, so she's sown many eternal seeds, which we're so grateful for. And thank you so much for releasing her to come. Um, as Kate said, we're here in Uganda and um, I've been living here for um, nine months and I've moved here permanently now. I've been coming on and off since 2009 and God called me to move here permanently last year. Um, so we purchased five acres at the beginning of the year um, here in Mitiana, which is uh, about an hour west of Kampala, the capital city. And our whole mission of 100% Hope is to give children a future and a hope through Jesus Christ. So some of the ways that we do that is through education, through spiritual discipleship, through healthcare, and just showing the kids the love of Christ by raising them in a loving family, which is Christ-centered. So um, we wanted to take you and show you a little bit of what we're doing here in the five acres. And I'll tell you a little bit about my daughter's story and some of the other kids so that you just get a bit of an understanding of what we're doing here. So let's go. Well, Annie Kate's busy with Hope. <laughs> Such a hard job. Let me tell you what's happening here in Hope Village. So, Kate and I are standing here on the foundation of um, the nursery where we are planning to educate 243 to 5 year old children. Um, we've had to stop here because we've run out of resources. We've got a current challenge out there for 80 people to give $1,000. We'll completely finish a two story nursery, which is like a preschool back in Australia. Also, behind us, you can see that the men are busy at work. They're starting to build a timber church for us. Um, so that we can have a church that's open to the community. At the moment, we've just been having our church at the girls' home with our 92 children and our workers, but we wanted to begin on our land so that we can open it up to the community, that we can begin to evangelise and really make an impact here in Bottega, which is the suburb of Mitiana that we're located in. There's not a church that's in this area that's close, so many of the community have just been waiting for us to start here. So that's exciting, and we should be officially opening there in the next few weeks. So stay tuned for those details. Um, also, just as you can start to see as the camera moves, um, we've done a big security fencing all around because we want to make sure that our area is secure once we start to bring the children in here. Um, we're going to be having administration, a health clinic, and down the bottom, as you can see, there's going to be a football field and other sporting, like basketball court, etc. We really want to make sure that we give the children a, a holistic development. Um, most places here, because land is premium, they don't have areas for the children to play. So we want to make sure that the children have got places to play, that they've got a safe, loving home to grow up in, that they've got a church where they can be um, spiritually discipled, where they can grow up in the ways of God, but also have an education and health care. So we really have a large vision from God, but we also know that God is the one who can provide to fulfill the vision that he has given us. And so we thank you so much again for your support. Thanks again for Kate. She's amazing. Make sure you send her back soon, please. And I'm sure actually we would love for more of you to come and visit as well. You are free. And um, yeah, thank you for your partnership and what you are doing to help us. So thank you so much. As we were saying to you before, um, I've been living in the house with 52 amazing, beautiful uh, Ugandan girls and all of them have the most incredible stories and testimonies. Um, some have been orphaned uh, by AIDS, uh, some are, are very underprivileged and uh, are being raised by uh, one parent or parents that can't support them, so have asked uh, Trishel through 100% Hope to help support uh, their education and um, uh, some uh, have been uh, victims of uh, abuse and neglect, so have uh, turned up uh, at 100% Hope and um, Hope's story is just one incredible story uh, that I'll get Trishel to share with you. She truly is a miracle baby.